ApoE4 expression was linked to this intracellular lipid accumulation. Lipid droplets are like tiny bubbles inside cells. Under normal conditions, they are helpful, storing fat for energy or helping the cells survive stress. But when they start piling up, it's a red flag that the cell's metabolism is out of balance. To figure out what was causing this buildup, the team ran a genome-wide CRISPR screen. So that screen spotlighted genes like PLA2G4C, PNPLA6, and PAPLA7. These enzymes normally help cut up fat in the cell's membrane. They're like demolition crews, breaking down old walls so the cell can rebuild and adapt. But when these enzymes misfire or go missing, it's like tearing down walls, but leaving all the bricks behind. That debris doesn't get cleared, it forms lipid droplets, and over time it clogs the system meant to insulate and protect neurons. So next, the team asked, can we clean up this metabolic mess? They turned to the WNT signaling. It's a cellular communication pathway that controls development and regeneration. You can think of WNT as a master control panel. It tells brain cells where to grow, when to heal, and when to activate defense systems. Where we overexpress different wind signaling genes, and we see, especially in the gene beta-catenin, a significant reduction in lipid droplets. Here's where it gets fascinating. In ApoE4 cells, lipid droplets levels went down, and more than that, those droplets started moving towards the mitochondria, the cell's energy generators. That's a huge clue. It suggests the cell isn't just clearing junk, it's recycling it into usable fuel. That's why it's so important to track your lipid metabolism as an ApoE4. 